Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 29th of 2021. Well, it is titled the tulip and Cygnus X1. So what do we see here? Well, the central portion of the image is what is known as the tulip nebula. And you can see the bright colors uh, that make up the tulip there, uh, various different colors and the colors it is an example of an emission nebula. And that is when energy from a hot star excites the gases and causes them to glow. And in this case, we are looking at the red is sulfur, the green hydrogen and the blue oxygen emission. So each color is color coded for a different element to allow them to stand out and allow us to see the detail here. So this is an example of the uh, example of an emission nebula where we see very hot, extremely hot stars, much hotter than our sun, five or six times hotter than our sun that energize these atoms, cause them to lose their electrons. And when the electrons recombine, it then gives off the various colors that we see. Now, even more powerful than this, although harder to see, is Cygnus X1. Cygnus X1 is one of the strongest X-ray sources in our sky, sometimes called a micro quasar and is a quasar in a way on a very, very tiny scale. Uh, a quasar is a supermassive black hole that is accreting material, gathering material into it and producing a lot of energy. A microquasar is a much smaller black hole, uh, what we call a stellar mass black hole, something that may be 20 or 30 or 40 times the mass of our sun. And it is also accreting matter. And if you look to the very top of the image, just below the date, you can see a slight arc of material, which is part of one of the shock waves of this black hole. As material spirals into the black hole, it is pushed out in jets perpendicular to that and then creates a shock wave when that strikes material within the interstellar medium. So while it does not stand out here, it does give off far more energy. Now a quasar itself would be this on a much bigger scale. This would be incredibly tiny and would be like a candle relative to all the energy of the sun uh, would be as as all the energy of the, to all the energy of the sun this micro quasar would be to a full fledged quasar and the full fledged quasars only existed in the very early time of our universe when lots of galaxies were colliding supermassive black holes were forming and were accreting and gathering a lot of matter into them giving off incredible amounts of energy which is why we can still see them across those great distances so that was our picture of the day for July the 29th of 2021. It was titled the Tulip and Cygnus X1. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be Saturn shine. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.